If you look at a giraffe long enough, you'll start to suspect there's no way it could actually exist. With those long necks, spindly legs, and weird tongues, they look like they defy at least a couple laws of biology, and maybe even one or two from physics. But they do exist, and it turns out there's more weird stuff going on with them than you think. Here are some crazy facts you didn't know about giraffes. Giraffe Lullaby Giraffes sleep so little, it was once believed they didn't even sleep at all. In the 1990s, however, the University of Zurich spent 152 nights watching eight giraffes sleep and discovered they get their Zs in bursts ranging from 35 minutes to as little as one minute. Usually, they sleep standing, but sometimes they do lay down to get some much-needed REM sleep, curling up in a position that makes them look extra cute. So, what do they do at night instead of sleeping? Well, they hum. But they do it at such a low frequency, many people can't even hear it. The human hearing range runs from about 20 hertz up to about 20,000 hertz, with the giraffe's hum barely registering at frequencies as low as 35 hertz. Researchers have no idea why giraffes hum or if the sound has any meaning, but knowing that they do it sure is creepy. Those crazy necks. You've probably wondered why giraffes have such insanely long necks. And you're going to have to keep wondering because nobody actually knows. It was believed for a long time that giraffes evolved those huge necks so they could more easily graze on treetops. But it turns out they actually prefer eating from lower shrubs, which makes the neck a liability instead of a benefit. Some scientists now think those necks evolved because male giraffes get in violent necking fights to determine primacy. But that theory isn't widely believed either. So for now, it's a big mystery. One thing we know, it's not designed for urban travel. But because their necks are so long, giraffes have had to evolve special circulatory systems. The walls of their hearts are extra thick to deal with increased blood pressure, while a giraffe's blood vessels can expand and contract, and also contain valves to make sure the blood flows in the right direction even when they bend their huge necks. And they need it. A human exposed to the same kind of pressure change would pass out. Giraffes Through History Julius Caesar brought the very first giraffe to Europe in 46 BC, and according to contemporary records, the creature was so mellow it was walked like a dog on a leash. The Romans gave it the name Camelopardalus because they thought it looked like half camel, half leopard. The fate of Caesar's giraffe wasn't recorded, but by the 2nd century AD, giraffes were being killed for sport in the gladiator arenas because those people were monster jerks. Giraffes were treated a lot better in China after being brought to the country by an expedition in the year 1413. That's because the Chinese believed giraffes to be the mythical Qilin, a beast said to be part horse and part dragon, with one to three horns, a deer's body, an ox's tail, cloven hooves, and a gentle nature. So, you know, they weren't wrong. The Emperor Yunlaw even kept the giraffe around to legitimize his shaky claim on the throne, because having a legendary mythical beast in your entourage is always dope, right? Giraffe Sex If you haven't spent much time thinking about giraffes having sex, well, we're about to change that. Unlike many animal species, giraffes don't have mating seasons. Instead, female giraffes are potentially fertile all year long. Male giraffes figure out whether or not their potential mate is fertile by tasting their pee. And if they can't find a mate, no problem, as male giraffes have been noted for their high rate of same-sex encounters. Once a female giraffe does get pregnant, though, it's a real process, as the gestation period can last up to 460 days, and birth takes place standing up, so babies are just dropped from a height of 6 feet. Pow! Welcome to the world, kid! One problem with giraffe sex, however, is that there are actually four subspecies of giraffes, and they only interbreed while in captivity. That's because weather differences put each species on a slightly different seasonal breeding cycle, so they're just not horny at the same time. That exclusivity has become an issue, as the giraffe population has declined by as much as 40% over the last 30 years due to, you guessed it, people killing them. It's estimated there are now fewer than 100,000 giraffes left in the wild. And the Rothschild's giraffe is on the endangered species list, with fewer than 700 left in the world. The White Giraffe in 2015, Wild Nature Institute reported seeing a newborn giraffe in the Terengiri National Park in Tanzania. She wasn't an ordinary giraffe, though. Thanks to a condition called leukism, her skin doesn't produce color, but other parts, like her eyes, still do. Tour guides named her Omo, and she's beaten some serious odds. 
she'd had about a 50-50 chance of seeing her six-month birthday even as a regular boring old giraffe. And her awesomely unique appearance made those chances even worse, since she became a target for both human and animal predators. So when she was seen again in 2016, people were pretty excited. You go, little Omo. We're all rooting for you. Giraffes in Space in the 1980s, NASA was having problems with astronauts returning from space, as the increased gravity on Earth was pulling blood down to their lower extremities, leading to fainting and dizziness. Enter the giraffe. According to Mental Floss, a physiologist named Alan Hargens realized baby giraffes suffer through the same problems when they're born, and he and his colleagues studied their blood vessels as inspiration for creating the lower body negative pressure device. NASA also studied the circulatory system of adult giraffes to design spacesuits that could adapt better to different gravitational forces. To boldly go where no giraffe has gone before. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.